I'm Dr. Durga Prasad Reddy, Professor and Head, Department of Cardiothoracic and Vascular Surgery, Vaidhi Hospital, Bangalore. Well, cardiac patients uh, should uh, carry their medications. Probably the flight uh, authorities has to be informed if he's a really a sick guy. We need to uh, intimate the flight authorities so that they have adequate oxygen for the patient uh, care. Otherwise, uh, when the patient usually they travel by flight after surgery or after the cure, you know, days. or if the patient is having congenital disease, then traveling in flight uh, won't be issue. High altitudes, and suppose you think there is a defect in the uh, septum, that's a VSD, ventricular septal defect. High altitudes, uh, it's really safe because your oxygenation is less and uh, it's uh, you, you really won't have anything. Once the child comes down to the sea level, then you can have some problem by shunting of uh, blood into more into the lungs because there's something called as pulmonary vascular resistance drops down at the sea level. But I think in flight, uh, I think that is not there because it's adequately oxygenated and other things. Usually the flight uh, you want to have, but uh, you, you have to carry all your medications. The flight authorities has to be informed and it all depends on how sick the patient is, if he's severely diseased and he's having breathlessness, then it's advisable to be taken care with the ventilator, support and things, probably going for treatment elsewhere. 